Now, what about a church that would teach our kid, like, I don't know, a second language, like Mandarin? You got anything like that? Mm -hmm. The Mandalorian is a great show. You know, the other thing that's really important to us, back at our old church, we had a cafe in the lobby. Laura Lee used to get the Yahweh latte before worship began, and man, I'm not even a coffee drinker. It, it was heavenly. Well, welcome back, everyone. I'm Barnabas Sterling, and we've just arrived at our first location in our search to help the Petties find the perfect church. So let's go in and check out the contemporary. Come on. All right, so we're here at the contemporary, the first of our four options. And you probably noticed a couple of great things, right? Right when we came on, how incredible and nice the campus was. Dynamic worship, right? And then the pastor, great communicator. Mm. The facilities are Is really- Is he good looking? The pastor? Mm -hmm. Well, he's okay. Now, I shouldn't say this because it, it feels a little inappropriate, but they do have um, another staff member, another pastor. He's the multiplication pastor, a real looker. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're gonna like him. Anyway, um, back to what I was saying. All kind of dynamic facilities, incredible stuff. They offer a lot. I think this is the kind of church that would be a good fit for you guys. What are you guys thinking? Well, I do have a couple of points. Okay. One, the color scheme, the blues mm. and the greens. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm in Tomorrowland at Disney World, not at a church. Mm -hmm. And one other thing, the AC, it is way too hot in here. If it's not at 70 degrees, I feel like I'm visiting hell, not a church. Right. And let me just say, when we walked in, I noticed there was no cafe in the lobby. Oh. So it looks like we're going to be drinking standard coffee on a Sunday morning, which is not exactly ideal. <laughs> okay. Well... I hear your concerns, so I might have saved one last detail for you guys. Right now, you're sitting in the children's theater. Now, they may not teach Mandarin. Um, instead, they read the Bible here, but here's what they do offer that I think you're really going to like. The arts is very important to them, and I think that's pretty awesome. I you... think it has potential. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a maybe. Okay. Well, we're getting somewhere. All right, well, let's go take a look at our second option. Come on, guys. Okay, let's be honest, it didn't go great, but this is a great church. I mean, think about it. It checked off a lot of the boxes that they were looking for, but we have a hurdle to overcome, and the, that is the petties looking for things that are non-essential, what I call frivolous things. They need to look for the essentials. So I'm gonna kind of dig in a little deeper over the next few weeks and help them look at those essentials. But for now, this is a maybe, but next week come back as we check out the second of their four options to finding the perfect church. We'll see you then.